That's right. Go to our Facebook page, too. We have had some fun this morning. A oh. lot of families, uh, of course, enjoying some brunch this Easter weekend. That's right. We are so excited to have Chef Paul back with us from Thank Bevy you. doing some wonderful dishes. Uh, these are great for the weekend because a lot of folks are going to be enjoying some Absolutely. time outdoors. Easter Sunday is, is right upon us and people love to brunch, yes, especially on do. Sunday. Yeah. But, oh, here, but here's the it. thing that we don't want to confuse our viewers because mm -hmm. yesterday you were with <laughs> the porch. Yes. Okay. Today you're with Bevy. I, I wear many hats. You do wear many hats. When do hats. you sleep? I don't. Mm, just cooking all the time. Hence the bags. I don't sleep. <laughs> oh, no, you don't have any bags. No. But you do have some good dishes. What are you making first? I do. So I like to take conventional things and tor you know put a twist on them. So this is a Caesar salad that I'm going to make. And I actually burn Brussels leaves. Ooh. So it extracts out the... Um, so not on purpose. Or like no, I, I do. Oh, I, I mean, purpose. I burn them on purpose. <laughs> what are you putting on top? So this is a traditional Caesar salad, okay. uh, anchovy and a raw egg. So. Oh, okay, the real stuff. Yes. So wait, do you like peel off each leaf and lay it I on do. a tray? I do. I do. That's then, very labor intensive. It's very labor intensive, but it's worth it. I now, think. when you say burn them for people who are watching, how do they get that burnt? A uh, four to five hundred degree oven, and oh. just literally just let nature work, and nothing you put on oil them. On it or nothing. Anything? No. Nothing what about on the them. The burnt taste. How do you avoid that? So it plays very well with the Caesar and the saltiness of the Parmesan Reggiano. Mm. Okay. So it's bitter, but you get sort of a little bit of a taste. Yeah. It's actually yeah, it's quite good. Are you, well, I want to wait. Are no, you finished? Taste, no, take no, one. No, just put your fingers take in there. Well, I want to finish. I want to taste it completely no, done. Mmm. So Ooh, I like that dressing. That oh, is good. It's. You know, and some people love it and some people hate it, but that's okay. I think it's good. I like it, yeah. That's okay. And this is great for the, again, spring. We were talking about yesterday. You yeah. Know, this, the, the people are eating lighter, folks are eating lighter. This is really healthy for mm -hmm. you. And you, and you put some cheese on top. Yeah, so that's Parmesan Reggiano. And then I just like to do a little dressing up front. And then this is a granola that I mix with fresh herbs, so you get a little bit of sweet. It's right here. Yep. See, that's why I was waiting. Go ahead and that's, top it. And that's the balance that will help eliminate some of the bitterness. Okay, because it was a tad bitter, but okay. I think this is going to be good. So Ooh. it's literally, we make like a breakfast granola, so it's a little bit sweet. Okay, so what, but I'm going to look for a fork. very um, well. <laughs> Talk right about here. Bevy. What kind of restaurant oh, is this? Oh, you brought forks. I love you. So Bevy, uh, we just opened uh, last Thursday. It's Wh on Whoa, 7th well, Street. Whoa, well congratulations yeah, thank you. on thank your you so grand much. opening. Where is it at? It's on 7th, uh, 5600 7th Street, okay. um, 7th in Missouri. Mm, and is it good. is, you know, sort of an adult playground. We have fun old school arcade games, a bunch of TVs. Again, the mantra is bar food, but it's, you know, in a our little estimation. Bar food, yeah, we, we try and mix it up a little bit. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah, we open and at 3 o'clock. So it's a good vibe. It good is. Good vibe, a lot of fun. You know, and that's what you're, that's what you're <clears> known <throat> for. You're known for you know, that neighborhood feel. Yes. But a great menu. Yeah. Constantly elevating it, which mm -hmm. I love. What, what are you rolling out for spring? I'm still playing in the, f I mean, I'm only a weekend, so I'm actually okay. going to change the menu already. Oh, my really? God. Yeah. Weekend. Well, it's a I'll tell you, it is a process. But you know, whatever you're doing is working because even when you were here yesterday, I was talking to my mom yesterday. She's like, I want to go to the porch. <laughs> You're like, did a great job promoting Good. that. Thank Bevy you. Bevy looks like it has the same great atmosphere. It is. Definitely really chill vibe. We open at 3 o'clock. As soon as we open, happy hour goes until 7. Nice. Um, but you don't open until 3. We don't open until okay, 3. Okay, so there's no lunch menu. This is just, not this yet. is, okay, not, not yet. yet. He's <laughs> winking. You saw not that yet. wink. Not yet. <laughs> that means you're constantly going to be working because you're trying to figure out what this yes, is. Yes, geographically, right? 7th is, I mean, it's incredible. It's a great corridor. Sure. There's amazing restaurants down there, and, you know, we're, we're happy to be a part and of goes, that. Go say hi to Chef Paul. Yes. Because Please do. he has a lot of folks already filling the tables over at the porch, and Bevy is no exception. And you have a special offer. Thank you so much for your generosity. Of course. Uh, all this entire, the last three days with yeah. us. All right, let's give you that special offer right now. If you mention Chef Paul on Sonoran Living, you are going to get 20% off of your food. Bevy Uptown, it's located at 5600 North 7th Street. That's right there in Phoenix. Go say hello to the good folks there. 480-588-2908. Or visit the website, bevyaz.com. For much more information. What are you going to make next? I'm going to make a quesadilla. All right. That's still ahead.